Welcome to our live event. We're really excited tonight. We've got a lot to talk about. We want to thank all of you for participating and joining. And if you have a chance, call some of your family and friends. We've got some more announcements we're going to be making tonight, and they might be uh, helpful to them, uh, what we have to say. We've got Christine here, and Christine is going to go over some of the questions and, and some of the testimonials, some of the exciting things that we've, um, we've come across this last week. I know a lot of you are really interested in knowing what we're doing with the app. We've come such a long way. I want to take a moment to thank Vitor. Vitor is in Portugal, and Vitor has been such an incredible support to me and the company over the years that we've been working to develop this app. And for, for many years, Vitor, and I know you can relate to this, you probably wondered if this was ever really going to happen. Were we really ever going to do this? I would have wondered that because Every month that went by, every year that went by, there was always some problem in technology or something that was preventing us from being able to get it done. And yet, I got to commend Vitor because he, and many of, of you as well, was always there to, to hang in there with us and to support us and, and to, um, to lift us up. And so, Vitor, I want to say special thank you to you and to all of those who have, who have worked with us as we've continued to develop this app. We've got a lot of additional things we're gonna be doing as we develop it. And for all of those who are getting the app now, you're getting it at the $29.95 special, the a pre-launch price. But what many of you may or may not know is that once you buy in at the $29.95, every year that we renew it, you will be grandfathered in at the $29.95. The price is going to go up to $49.95 and it may go up from that point as we continue to develop more and more features. But for those who are buying it now, your price won't go up. We'll have add-ons that we can add or different movements and exercises, but that's just a one-time charge as we continue to develop ongoing modules for it. But your membership, $29.95, is just our way of saying thank you for working with us as we go through the growing process and making this app something that's going to be really special for you and those that you care about. So, Christine, come on okay. in. All right. Okay. All right. Testimonial. I appreciate these. Thank you so much. And something I was mentioning to a gentleman earlier today who was talking, he's a, he plays the saxophone and he's been playing for over 40 years. He's a professional and he travels and he was noticing from cellar sizing that his dexterity and his finger work was getting better and better. Well, that's one of the things that I share about cellar size is that it improves balance, rhythm, timing, dexterity, hand-eye coordination, rhythm at virtually any age because those are physiological functions that really have nothing to do with age. They have to be challenged and cellar size challenges it. So I really appreciated his comment and look, look forward to hearing more from him. And if you know mus musicians, whether they're guitarists or um, anybody that uses their fingers, there's movements we can do, and I'm going to share that in a moment, on the cellar sizer that can actually improve the dexterity of your, your fingers and, and movement. So this is from Jenny. Jenny says, I lifted weights for years and never saw results like these in my muscle tone. I saw it said in this group to trust the cellar sizer process, and that's exactly what I did. That's what I'll continue to do because I see my body getting stronger every day before my eyes. My goal isn't weight loss, and I'm not dieting following any particular diet. My only goal was to have fun, feel good, be happy, and to get strong. That's it. Why work out when you can play in? Jenny, she looks, I don't know if you can see her or not, but she looks, she looks great. And Jenny, I hope it's all right I shared that. All righty. Thank you. Okay. This is from Kelly. Kelly says, I have an issue that my body does not detox well. As I started to detox, my lymph nodes would get big and get, they'd get big and hurt. And that's how I found cellar sizer. I missed yesterday and the nodes swelled. So I got on this morning. It takes three minutes to health bounce to flatten those little buggers, <laughs> those little buggers, lots of laugh or laugh out loud. I just think that's so cool. Even if I feel under the weather, I can clear my lymph. And we all know, those of us who understand cellar size, what that does through the pumping action up and down to activate the lymph system to vacuum out the internal environment of the body. 
You look nice. You really look good today, Christine. You bet. You look good. Okay. This one is um, from London. And they write, despite the fact that I had gym, a gym membership, I found that I was not utilizing it as much as I would like, so I decided to invest in this piece of equipment, which is this solar sizer. It is a mini trampoline that is compact and easy to store away because it can be folded up. I had to gradually build up to 10 minutes workout because the body cannot take more than that as a beginner. I no longer have any, exor- I no longer have any excuse not to exercise. I do five minutes in the morning daily and 10 or more minutes in the evening at least five days a week. Nine months on it and I've lost some weight too. Thank you, Seller Size. And they posted this on Instagram. That was nice. Thank you very much for helping to get the word out. All right, we're gonna go right into some health questions and then we're gonna address app questions today. And so if you're having any specific app questions, go ahead and put it on there. I will get to those if we can and maybe we'll answer them. Good. as they come across because some of right. them are on here all right does anyone know if you can rebound with a pacemaker we have many people that are rebounding with pacemakers i always need to say in, in a situation like this consult with your doctor or have your doctor feel free to give me a call but there are movements that you can do on a cellular size that make it a lot easier on the heart but because you're on a pacemaker, it's important that you consult with your doctor. Moving up and down on the cellular sizer actually increases the effectiveness of the heart to move circulation through the one-way valves of the heart from the lowest extremities all the way up, making it easier. So uh, generally speaking, your doctor is probably going to be, if you're able to do normal activities, be very excited about the benefits involved in a cellular sizer and how it opens up not just circulation but can change blood chemistry so it's easier for the heart to pump that blood with as separated cells instead of sticky cells through the capillaries in different parts of your body all right what are the ways that rebounding slows down or perhaps reverses aging particularly the loss of a balance and flexibility that so many people experience gradually during their 50s and 60s well, I just been called the closest thing to the fountain of youth yet devised by man, and I really believe it is. Um, in my 50s, nobody ever told me that it affected um, balance and flexibility, uh, I mean, that, that getting older had anything to do with it. And I, I came to realize it really doesn't. Balance, we're not born with it. It has little or nothing to do with age. And flexibility comes with increased circulation and, um, and health of the actual tissue, uh, connective tissue, the fascia, the ligaments, and the tendons, and cellular size massages at the cellular level. And so as we're gently massaging every single cell over 100 times a minute, the body naturally becomes more flexible. Um, so me, you know, being in my 60s, I don't know if you can see this or not, but to be able to touch my toes, and, and I never do this except when people ask, but um, to put my hands on the ground, I know, you know, that's, uh, it's just it's a byproduct of cellular size. That's what, again, it's a whole different methodology of exercise. We're treating the body collectively as a whole, not as muscle groups of body parts, but literally collectively, with every muscle, ligament, tendon, bone, skin, collagen, everything involved. So, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm starting to see a slight improvement in my eyesight after jumping consistently for one and a half months. Do you think that continuing to wear my 1.5 readers to read will slow this process or will my eyesight continue to get better while wearing them occasionally? <laughs> and thank you, she says, for all you've done. Oh, thank you. Um, you re- remind me of Juan, Juan Crevetto. I knew him um, in San Francisco. And, and I may have shared this before, but he, I was at a whole life expo and he came up and he said, David, you should warn people it's gonna affect their vision. And he was upset and I said, um, why what happened he says well I kept using that and every time I put on my reading glasses they got harder and harder to read and it was always after I'd been cellular sizing so I stopped using it but my vision didn't get better so I went to the ophthalmologist and and or I think it was the ophthalmologist optometrist to have my eyes checked and they said that he had gone from 5.4 diopters to 4.5 diopters he needed new glasses, but with less power. And that's common. When you cellular size, make sure you don't wear glasses, which most people don't, but you don't want to do that. And you can focus at things at a distance and then up close. 
and at a distance and up close and at a distance and up close. You can create your own eye chart and put it up on a window and look at the eye chart um, and then look at something at a distance, different size font, different size print, left to right, up and down, horizontal, diagonally. You, you just read these different words because you're working the muscles of the eye. As you're moving up and down, you're increasing circulation and fluid movement through the eye itself. And as you look at a distance and then up close again, the cellar is flexing the eye, but the muscles are also flexing as you're increasing circulation. So it's been known to help improve vision. Um, a lot of, there's a lot of conditions involved. And so sometimes it does, sometimes it may not. If the actual lens in the eye is crystallized or gotten hard, then it might be harder for those muscles to form that. And that may require you know, additional attention. But our objective is to maintain good, healthy eyes and increase the circulation to the eyes and the flexibility. Cellar size absolutely helps to do that. I have been following the basic routine that has been aired. My knees all the way down to my feet are always stiff, sore, and tight afterwards and the next day. Is there anything I can do to address this? Yeah, yeah. That, I don't know what the condition is. It, it could be diet. It could be um, circulation. Um, it, it, it could be just tightness. Normally it's diet and circulation related, but standing on the cellar sizer, literally, and just lifting up the heels up and down is working the lower legs because it's pumping with the calf muscle and feeding that circulation back up through the one-way valves toward the heart. So this movement is really healthful. Um, bending at the knees a little bit and walking in place is going to start to strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knee, which help to maintain better circulation throughout your all of your legs which is also very important so if it's a circulation problem this movement here is very intense it can help increase circulation and strength um, this movement here pumps with the calf muscle helps assist the heart in increasing cir circulation through the legs again if it's something related to diet if it's um, calcium potassium, magnesium issues um, that, that you can find out through a doctor or nutritionist as well. So. Okay, you have instructed us to drink a lot of water after cellar sizing. Should this be done immediately or how much is a lot of water <laughs> and could you provide a specific amount? You know, it, everybody's different again. I don't know what your weight is, the size of your, your body, but I'll fill a, a pitcher of water up to about, <laughs> what is that, a couple liters of water, and I'll, I'll drink that in the morning. Um, I'll drink some before I get on the cellar sizer. I'll drink it even if I want to stop, get off the cellar sizer, drink some more water, get back on, and cellar size it doesn't bother me. Um, if it bothers you, don't do that. But for me, I've been doing that for years, and then drinking during the course of the day. We're breaking up heavy metals. We're breaking up... Um, toxins and poisons and increasing circulation through all the different areas of the body. And having that water, uh, utilizing that, can help the body flush those toxins and poisons out of the body so they don't go redeposit somewhere else. Uh, so yeah, drinking lots of water, it, again, what, uh, what you're comfortable drinking. You don't have to overdo it, um, but having good water, most people don't get enough of it. So it's not like you can over drink. Most people are not going to do that. Um, but just drinking a, a good, good deal of water um, helps to increase that circulation through the body. All right. When will good I know? Questions. Okay, perfect. When will I know when the mat has to be replaced? I can feel that it dips further in the middle. Okay, you're not going to wear that mat out. That, that mat is a, well, when I say you're not going to wear it, you're not going to stretch that mat out. That, uh, those polypropylene fibers are put under nearly 200 tons of pressure. They're extremely dense. That's why we use them. If it gets, it feels a little softer in the middle, you know, everything's going to, the frame, the, the springs, everything can loosen up a little bit. That's not much, but, but a little bit. But the, your feet are going to be supported on this mat. If you want to feel or utilize a little bit more of the spring, then just spread your feet apart a little bit. And it just firms it right out. 
Um, it, most people are not going to jump with their feet like this in the middle of the mat where it's softest anyway. So if they keep your feet shoulder distance, you're jumping side to side, there's, there's not any, there's really not going to be an issue. All right, we're on to app questions. Okay. Okay. All right, let me grab my... Perfect. Good. Okay, they're asking about the music. Is there any way to turn off the music without just turning it down? Because they want to be able to maybe not have the music, but hear the ringer go off when their exercise routine is over. It's something that we've, we're taking into account. Somebody had addressed that. Um, I made a note of that. It's a great question. So it's something for the future. We can... Um, I don't know that we can eliminate the music on the current app. I haven't seen how to do that because it, by default it, it, picks, it picks a song. But you can always tune it down. You can turn on your music and move with the app as well. Um, in order to have it ding at, at the end of each movement, it has a countdown that, that you can look at. But if, um, if you want to have that ding, we're going to be talking with our technicians later this week on some of the suggestions so that we can incorporate those in future editions. And profile. Currently the app only allows one profile right. to be built. Okay, right. some people right. have suggested maybe they could have them and their spouses have separate profiles so can track them separately. Right. But that's just a suggestion that you'll review. And it's something okay. that's also written down. So <laughs> kind of like Amazon or Netflix, you can you have one account, but you can have different profiles. I love that idea. Thank you. We'll work on that. Perfect. All right. Um, oh, but okay. you can definitely create different routines for each person, and you can label those routines right now on your app. So you can create a routine, clone a routine, and call it by a different name um, by, by uh, editing it. You can edit it, put a different picture in it. You can put a spouse's picture in it. So when they go to the saved workouts, you'll have their face on their particular exercise routine. So that can be done right now. Alrighty. Let's see. Also, does it tell you what each exercise is good for and what body part? So if, if you want to get in there, and I will bring this camera up close so that they can see your... Okay. Yeah, let's do that. So if we go to create your workout, for example, and we want to add a movement. If we go to add a movement, you can see all the different movements. We've got all movements here. We can go to aerobic movements here. We can go to calisthenic movements, cool down. Some of them are, are going to be on warm up. You know, some of them are going to overlap. But if you go to all the movements over here and, and you hit health bounce, it's going to describe underneath it what it is. Baby bounce with balance bar for overall health, stimulation, balance, circulation, detoxification, inflammation, lymphatic circulation, blood circulation, stimulates thyroid, adrenal. It explains what it's good for. So each one of these, when you, can, uh, when you go to uh, each one of these routines, is going to have a little description under it to tell you what it is. So hopefully, I, sorry, I don't know if you can even see that. Um, so you can see what that description is for each one of those movements. And then you can decide whether you want to add to the workout, which is right down here. You can see you can either add to the workout here or you can just close out by hitting the X and it will take you back to additional movements. So yes, all of those are addressed. When you're creating it, you can create or, or edit and put whatever image you want in here, write a description of what or who this is for, and you can actually name the workout up here. So, oh gee, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, sorry. So again, you can add your own picture, write a description of what it's for, and then create or name it whatever you want. And then when you add it to your, when you add it to your my workout section, you can see what, what they can look like. So I created this one just as a little demo. And if you hit on it, you've got the different exercises. And you've got, you can go to options, and under the options, you can pick your workout music, 
You can pick your background image. Let's see if you can see that. Sorry, jeez. Okay, I, I know something you need to do in the future. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you can. Okay, you can see uh, the different the different movements. We use graphic designs, and we're going to use graphic designs because we want to make this user friendly for children eventually too. So we're going to create graphics, little heroes, things that we can do to help get the children off of the couch so that with the technology that's available now, they can actually have the cellar sizer in the corner of the TV and a parent can say, yes, you can go watch your show as long as you do your exercise routine. And, and they, it can be a caricature or it can be something fun. But we also want to be able to create caricatures eventually that you'll be able to customize and, and change as well. So that's all in the future of our development. So we're going to untangle this really quick. Oh, okay. So we don't have a problem, so I apologize you bet. for that. All it, right. Any other questions? Okay, we do have quite a few. Okay. Has anyone had any luck editing movements once they have added them to a custom routine? Okay. Um, if you want to do that, the only way to do that right now is, okay, let's see if you can see this. If you go to the edit button up here, it will edit and, and you can take movements out and you can put another movement in. But the problem that we have, we're aware of, is that the new movement will come down here to the bottom. And so you almost have to start over. You say, hey, you know, I want to, I want to change the routine up. So you can delete these various different things and put the other movements in and you're pretty much creating your own routine over again. We're looking into um, changes where we can actually develop the app so that we can move movements in different positions and then edit and, and change the, the timing or the amount of time. So we'll make that more user friendly. So if I have just started rebounding and have the app, how long should I stay on a routine before moving on to the next level? There's so many levels and there's so many things you can do at that, and there's so much you can create um, that it all depends on where you're at. And so we want to make it so that it, it fits with, with, what, with what level you're at or what level you're, um, uh, if, if you're working with a trainer or a doctor or a health practitioner, what level they can help you um, work with. And you can always give me a call too. And we're here at the office to help share different ideas or movements that you can do based upon where you're at right now. But everybody's gonna be different. And, and I don't know um, what you're comfortable with. But again, I tell people, you don't have to work out. We've gotta get rid of that mindset. You can play in, you can have fun. And playing can be work on the body but it's not laborious. It's not something you have to, you know, you, you don't see anybody else in the animal kingdom out there working out just to work out, okay? That's a manipulation of the body. They're out there having fun, they're playing, they're running, they're enjoying, and, and, and they're in good shape. We want that, we want this whole app, the whole purpose of this is creating routines and customizing routines, and eventually you'll be sharing your routines with us as well and with each other so that we can, it'll take on a life of its own as we continue to develop this. So again, thank you for being part of it and for helping us to evolve. All right. Do you have a cast button for Chromecast or Amazon? We don't. <laughs> no, but what we do have, I'm gonna let you hold this for one second. Sorry for all the noise there. Whoops. Thank you, Christine. We got the best group and audience because they're so Patience. forgiving. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is an HDMI cord. And take that top off. You've all seen these. That's what it looks like. If you take the HDMI cord and you get an attachment. Now, they have them for Android and they also have them for, um, for Apple. And you take and connect this. You can actually have it plugged in for, for power over here as well. But you plug it to the HDMI port, you plug the other end into your TV, you turn on the app, and you just need to go to the HDMI port, if it's port number one, it'll be in your settings or source, 
and you go to that setting or source, it'll bring the app right up on a great big screen TV. You hit it on your, your iPhone or your, your smartphone or your iPad or your Android device, and it will light up the entire TV and you can do the routine right there. And they're not that expensive. Um, really good to have. We've used it many times that way, and it, it will solve that issue. There's more in the future that we're working on, though. Okay, so this person tried to order the app the other day and wanted to choose credit card for payment. It ah. prompted PayPal. Can you explain that process? Yes. Unlike our products, when you buy our products, and by the way, we're going to launch a couple new products tonight for all of you who are, who are tuned in. Um, buying a product is different than running an app. Running an app is a lot more involved. And in order to have the programming to support you and to follow you, and um, it, it, we needed more H or more, I, what do they call it, HDMI uh, code or whatever the code is. And, and that, uh, that coding was provided by PayPal. Now, you don't have to keep a PayPal account, you don't have to use PayPal, but you need to set it up as a PayPal account so that, and it doesn't cost anything, so that we can follow you, we can make updates. Um, right now, that's, that's what we're doing. We're working on having it available through Android and through Apple or Google and Apple, but in order to do that, it's going to cost an additional 30%. So those people who don't want to go through Apple are going to have to go and, or don't go through our, our, our PayPal program and want to buy it directly on the App Store. You'll be able to do that, but it'll, it'll cost you 30% more because we're going to have to pass that cost on to others. So we have a discount program right now on our website. Um, we are going to make it available as well on App, Apple and on Google. If we're working on finding a way to do that right now. It's just going to cost a little bit more. All right. Okay, so this is um, the last question here, and then I'm going to grab this phone and look and see if there's anything that Good. we didn't address already. All right. So talk about the app shutting down. Okay. Well, it's, they're starting their program and it shuts down. So. Yeah. Most people are doing just fine with the app. A lot of that has to do with memory. It's the memory of your device. We are working right now to make that work on everybody's device as much as possible by taking our graphic movements and, and sizing them. I don't know exactly how they do that, but making it so it takes up less memory while it's loading so that it doesn't crash. So when you're moving from each movement, it's loading and buffering as you're doing your routine. Um, that's getting better and better every day. We're making progress in that, so keep trying it, keep working with us on it for those who are cha being challenged by it. But in the, the near future, that, that shouldn't be an issue. And we're addressing it right now with our technicians. So I wanted to share um, a movement for dexterity in hands. And that's a, that's a movement where if you put your fingertips straight down, you're gently moving up and down, feeling the pressure at the tips of your finger. The moment you feel the pressure at the tips of your finger, you're prime, you've primed the body. You've got all the valves in the, uh, the lymphatic system pumping and circulating and helping to, to uh, feed that circulation through all the tissue spaces of the body. And so when the body is primed like that, any movement accentuates the ability of the lymphatic system to pull circulation through the bones and joints. And so through this movement, as we're moving up and down, we just move our fingers. Just start moving the fingers. You can flex them, release them, move them around. And again, the pumping action is getting that circulation all through the areas of the hand. And that, that can help people with their, when they do a lot of computer work or their, their fingers are swollen or they're dealing with arthritic conditions. These movements with the pumping helps to keep that circulation working more efficiently in the body. All right, so I'm just kind of going through here and I'm just going to answer a couple things too, if that's all right. Sure. Uh, we had one gal just ask if these will be accessed live on YouTube. They won't actually go live on YouTube, but they will be a recording of this and posted on YouTube. Great. So they will be there. Thank Hi, Ray. Appreciate. Thanks for being with us. There's a few people that are are new this time, so that's exciting. 
Good. All Thanks right. for being part of the family and joining us. Okay, so this one was about with it um, stopping halfway through and getting the error loading QPP, but you just addressed that with the memory problem. Ah. Um, just how do I create a log login for the app? Well, it has to be purchased first. That's a good question. So and that's a and good question. one of, one of the things a lot of people have been doing is that they've been downloading the app, and it's got a little demo thing in there. But then they say, well, we can't use the app, even though we have it downloaded. And I said, that's because you need to go to our website, to our store, and purchase the app. Once you've purchased the app, you're going to be given a, your login information and your, your password, which you'll be able to change. But that, that helps. That should help. So if it hasn't been working and you haven't actually purchased it, then that's the reason why. We're ready. Let me grab this okay. so you don't have to take All right. that off. Okay, so we're ready to introduce. Let me, let me call. Um, well, do you want to explain it to him and then we'll call him? Yeah, let's we'll do that. We'll do that first. What do I do with my phone? Your phone's there. Oh, there you go. Thank you. All right, and I need one of these little packets. All right. This little device here is really cool. Um, it is a holder for the actual smartphone so that you can put it on our balance bar and you can exercise with it. When you put it together, it looks like this. And you can see that? You've got a little device here that you can torque down. And this is designed to fit right over the balance bar. And if we can bring the camera and watch how we do this. I'm gonna, it's gonna jiggle for a yeah. minute, folks. So, but I'm gonna actually take it off our stand here and bring it over so that I can get it right up there on top of it. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we just take it once you've put it together. It's pretty easy to put together. You just put it right over, give it a little bit of a turn so that you get it tight and then clamp it down. This part here is what you're going to put your phone in. And if I can get my phone, Carrie, can you get my phone for me? Thank you. All right. So if you get the phone and you, you put it in the cradle, of course, and just give it a little squeeze, you can move it in different positions and it's, it's ready to go. Now, you just hit the, the little app button here so you can see what this looks like. So now I'm on the seller sizer, bouncing up and down, and I can actually do a routine. So we start the routine. You know, you can change the background of all of this. And Okay, there's a... That's getting louder. That's interesting music. <laughs> <laughs> so if I go back here just to show this, I'm going to go to op options and I'm going to pick music. And I, okay, I'll, I'll pick electronic, but I'm going to pick, uh, let's try techno dance. And I'm going to put the amount of time in between each movement down to a second. Save it, changes are saved. I'm gonna start over again. Oh, I should have showed you how to change the actual. So now we go. So I've actually got it right here in front of me as I'm bouncing up and down. And it will go to the various different movements. So you have it right there with you. So that's, that's how this works. And when it's time to take this off, it's under pressure right now, so the teeth are holding it in position. If you take it, and if you try to squeeze this right now, really hard to get it to release. But if you take your fingers, push in a little bit, and then hit and push out, it's very easy. It comes right out. So these little guys here, they're $25 a piece. Shipping is $9, and that's priority mail and I am amazed at how much shipping costs have gone up but they have 
and unfortunately we're not able to absorb that. So the, uh, the entire unit delivered will be about $34 for that if you want it. Then we've also got our new streamlined balance bar. Many of you have heard about it. This is a solid piece right here. This will take an existing balance bar, standard balance bar, and turn it into a streamlined balance bar. So the update kits are now available, as well as the entire new balance bar system itself for those who don't have a balance bar. But this saves quite a bit of money. These are $35 plus the shipping, um, which is a lot less than having to pay $100 for a whole new bar. So those are going to be available as soon as I make a phone call. Thanks, Christy. So let's, uh, let's see if our webmaster here is available. His name is Chris, and Chris has been with me for several years, helping me to, uh, to wade through all of the various different challenges yeah. that we've had on the Internet. Hi, Chris. Are we ready to launch? We are ready to launch. Go ahead and launch it. All right. And we do this because I want those of you who are involved with Facebook to feel special, because you are special, and you've been very supportive and very helpful. And so as we launch new products, and we'll have more that we're, we, we have coming up, um, we want to introduce it uh, with you in the, the Solar Size Facebook family. So is it launched? Just a moment. Okay. He's getting ready to launch it. So when we're done, and we're about done? We have one more question on here, and then okay. we'll wrap it up. Okay, great. And then uh, you'll be able to go and, and order those online um, as you're comfortable doing it. And I look forward to more questions, uh, more experiences. Please keep sharing them. You are influencing every week. When I have a chance to share your stories and your experiences with people on the phone, it's changing lives. Many of you don't know how many people you've influenced, but I'm here to tell you, you're influencing a lot of people because I have a chance to share your stories. And for, for those who are just new to cellar size, this is not weightlifting. It's weight bearing. We don't limit the effect. We treat it on the treat the entire body collectively as a whole, and you've got every muscle, every cell flexing collectively over 100 times a minute with weight on it. So that's every muscle, bone, connective tissue, ligament, tendon, skin, collagen. Something I've been doing now for over 30 years. We've worked with over 80,000 customers, and we're continuing to to work with more and more all the time. So we're launched, Dave. We're launched. It's official. Okay. Okay. So the last Christine. question I think that came through here, Sherry asked yeah. uh, if it will go landscape. Now, if she's talking about this holder, oh, this twist, yeah. but does the app go yeah. landscape in case she's going both ways? No, the <laughs> so. app won't because then it is too short. It's, it, doesn't, it doesn't have enough space. We looked at that. So it's always going to be in a vertical position. Even on a big screen TV, it looks better than it would landscaped um, because the figures are, are larger and I guess the coating makes it more difficult to do it the other way anyway is so yeah I, I don't know in the future if, if we will be able to do that or should consider doing that but it's thank you for asking and this does turn so yes they can see how that will turn around as they need to because I think one of the pictures sure. has it listed this way and they were just curious which it is. This is this is where you put it in. Right. But right. your phone well, you, oh, okay. sits this way. That's right. And then if this they way. have an iPad, they can purchase it for their iPad because it's an ISO program? Or is, will it not hit on an iPad? This? Not this, but oh. just the app. Oh, the app works on an iPad, you bet. And on tablets, as long as Absolutely. You have, it's compatible. And Google Play will oh. tell you if it's compatible or not. So. Yes, it will. In fact, when I was demonstrating and showing it to you, I was showing it to your, you iPad, yep, right? This, this is my iPad. Okay. And so, it, uh, you, again, you create your own workouts or you go home and you pick from your beginner. <laughs> I forget, it's hard to see. Your beginner, inter intermediate, advanced, or senior, or create your own. 
and we're going to make it more user friendly for you to be able to clone any one of the movements that are already existing, which you can do now, and, and then changing it. Uh, we're going to make it easier to change those in the near future. All right, that's everything yeah. I have. All right, you thank you. It is, you know, we had a rocky start um, doing the app, but we had to get started because that was the only way we we're going to figure out what other additional steps we needed to do and, and hear from you as to the ideas that we can do to make it even better. And it is. It's gotten better already, and it's going to continue to get better. And I want to thank all of you who have supported us in this and been very, 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 very patient as we've um, gotten to this point. And we will continue to, to, uh, to do more for you. So thank you again. Uh, keep your ideas coming. And we will implement as many of those as we can to make uh, everything as, as, as good as we can. Thank you. And remember, you don't have to work out when you can play in. <laughs>